Okay, this is the second blog, the types of ways it went, and the fact that it's not just writing yourself so other people read you, it's also reading what other people write in comments to you based on what you write. So they can agree, disagree, give you better ideas, add to your ideas, all that sort of thing. Um, so the, the connected writing is what we call this, where you connect with your readers. They, they also write on your own blog in the comments page or the reply section. Now, we left off with just the world of reading and writing, but what about the finding connections networking part? How do you actually find out who visits you, even if they don't leave comments, so that you can learn about other people out there who find you and read you and write about what you write on their own blogs? How do we find those connections and start building those networks? Those networks do come. If you blog for six or seven months, you will, or, or even less, you will soon be amazed at how many people around the world you suddenly know who are interested in the same things you are. So the way that we do that um, is through a few little easy tools to put on your blog. So I was going to do it for our uh, the new class blog that I'm working on for the AP Literature class, but um, I've already started that process, so I'm going to do it with a dummy blog. But first, just for those of you who are English teachers and want to see uh, this year's version, it's a new school year, of how uh, I'm setting up the blog for the literature class, make this a little bigger. Um, you can see that we've got our class blog here, AP Lit 07, and then a shameless plug to my own blog and a couple of other great blogs that uh, I think students might discover 21st century education by, by reading, those who are interested. Um, and then uh, the students, this is a WordPress multiple user blog that I administer, so the students in this class also will be uh, writing on their own blogs, they're linked here, that's A periods, uh, G periods, blogs, and so forth. Now you see here, Technorati connections. I'm just going to click on that actually and let you see where it goes. And while that's loading though, um, I put another little link list of our atomic learning library so students can go there to learn about all of the 30,000 tutorials atomic learning has about websites. And then um, we've got a wiki with uh, a lot of the videos like RSS in plain English, a lot of the just introductory videos to Web 2.0. And then here is our other AP spaces, our virtual spaces. We've got a Moodle, we've got a Ning. Uh, soon students will be signing up on blog lines. These are the online work that we're using and this is our project to rewrite King Lear in modern language. We're using a group Digo. And just for fun, we're going to start making a widget of uh, Shakespeare quotes from King Lear that will be uh, sort of a quote uh, widget you embed every time you refresh your browser, a new quote from King Lear that we've made ourselves. We'll show there. And then uh, for the graphic novel that we'll make, there's the Toondoo site. Mm. Okay, so a second ago, I clicked on the Technorati link. Now, let me show you where that took us. It took us to the Technorati page, and here you see it says everything in the known universe about AP Lit 07. Well, it has no authority yet. Nobody has uh, linked to it. You see it says no authority. And its rank, well, we're doing really well at almost 8 millionth in the world of blogging. <coughs> um, by contrast, I'll just show you my own blog's Technorati rank. Instead of 8 million, I've got an authority of 58. This changes every six months. Any uh, any link over six months old will will be lost. So this is the number of posts online that have different individual blogs online that have linked to your site. That's the authority. And then that's your ranking based on how many uh, websites have linked to you. So I've broken into the top 100,000. You see that a brand new blog is at the 8 million mark. Okay. So instead of our AP Lit blog, which already has Technorati, I'm going to walk through the steps of setting up a Technorati account for this dummy blog that I made called The Sandbox. So to do that, you need to paste your blog's URL, so copy it, and go to Technorati. And you see I already have an account. So 
I'm going to click edit that account and then you see you've got settings, bio and all that. You want to go to blogs and that's going to show you, let me delete this. I had a little technical difficulty earlier. So So you go to blogs, and if you scroll down, you'll see somewhere at the bottom, claim a blog. So let's do that. You just paste your URL into that and click Begin Claim. Now, because I had some de technical difficulty, normally you can just click Use Quick Claim, and it will ask you to put your username and password for your blog there. But I'm going to, uh, I had problems with that, and that happens sometimes, so I'm just going to use the post claim. And it tells me to create a post using the code below and publish it to my blog. So I'm going to copy that code and hit pause while I do that. And so now here I am at my blog, and for those of my students who are going to be using WordPress, you have to realize you have to click code to post uh, code in there. So I'm just, I just posted code, so now I can paste that code in there. And notice when I go back to visual, you won't see that code. You'll just see that. So that's all we have to do. Click publish and that posts the blog. And we see that that Just for Technorati post just came through and there is the link to the Technorati site, the code. Then we go back to our Technorati page and the underneath that little code thing it says release the spiders. Click that. It's checking my blog now to see if that link is there. And just electronically, it's going from wherever Technorati is. I think it's in California. Uh, all the way over to here in Korea instantly to check my little blog. And I'm going to put it on hold while we're waiting. And now you see it took a couple of minutes, but it says, congratulations, my blog is claimed. Now here it says edit blog settings. And this is important, actually. A little description. Um, and then tags to describe your blogs. Now these tags are really important. You need to think of keywords that other readers who have the same interest will use to search for blogs about that interest. So I'm not going to do that here because this is a dummy blog. There's no point. Instead, I'm going to take you to my real blog and show you the tags that I used for my educational blog, uh, my professional blog about teaching, 21st century teaching. So it's beyond school. So I'm going to uh, click Edit Settings. And you see that there's my description. And I used every box I could. It's blog, it's blogging, education, English, flat world, meaning collaborative classrooms, language arts, K-12, through history, language arts spelled a different way learning, literacy, podcast, web 2.0, wiki, teaching, all of that. So you want to um, <clears throat> you want to get one of those yourself. You want to do that. And then finally, you want to click finished to save your blog info. Next you want to go and just to the um, Technorati link of your page. So I click the sandbox. And here is the link up here. You want to copy that link and go back to your blog and put it in your blog role so that people can click on that link and see what other writers are writing about your blog. So here for WordPress, I'm just going to call it Technorati, and I'm going to paste that link there, and I'm going to create uh, a little links box called Visitors and Connections, and you'll see why in a minute. Click Add, you'll see it comes up checked, and I'm going to click Add Link. And now on this very ugly site, We'll see here that Visitors and Connections is there. And there's my Technorati link. Okay, so if I click on that, it takes me to the Technorati uh, link to this empty blog, 
which has one post and nobody linking to it. But again, in the real world, you will go to your Technorati page. This is from my real blog. And as time goes by, people will start linking to you. And you'll see that you get a lot of reactions to your blogs. These are all links from other people. Now this link, um, this is Carolyn Foote, who is in Austin, Texas. And she wrote a post that mentioned my blog 18 hours ago. You can see that 51 other people have mentioned her blog. This is kind of cool. This doesn't happen very often. I guess it's because I was in Shanghai recently. Um, a Chinese blog has translated my blog into Chinese. And here is another cool one that doesn't happen very often. This is, from what I can tell, Norwegian or Swedish or something Scandinavian. And that's very cool. Um, so if I want to see what's going on, what this person wrote about this screencast, I can click right there, and that takes me to this Scandinavian blog. Pretty cool, huh? And you can see that this is the post, which links to actually the screencast, What is Blogging? And this must be the nice man who visited my blog. So if I wanted to, and I will, I'll just put a little comment here. I'm making a second screencast now about blogging as connective writing using your blog as an example. Smile. And there we go. And post. And now you can see that I have just connected with Jan in, uh, geez, somewhere in northern Europe uh, with a comment here. And who knows where that will lead? He seems to speak English if he watched the, uh, the thing, and he seems to be in education, so who knows where that will lead? It's all interesting and unpredictable. So that's one of the cool things. So that was Technorati. Now here on my real blog, my, my own blog, um, you see that I've got my Technorati widget right here. But besides that, I want to, next we're going to go to this, SiteMeter. And I want you to see what SiteMeter does. I'll show you that in the next one. We still have to put a cluster map and a SiteMeter visitor uh, tracker. So I'm going to go into my own SiteMeter and log in and show you what it does. You saw that it counts visitors, but it also tells you like your average per day for the past week and all that sort of thing. More interestingly, it gives you details. So here are all the people who have visited my blog. And I can click on each one of these numbers and see where they came from. University of London Computer Center in Bolton, England. I can see the link that sent them to me and the posts that they read. It also gives me great little graphs of uh, visits and page views, for example, for the past seven days. You can see that what Saturday was my strongest day in the past week, whereas in the past month I've had a, a stronger last week after three weeks or so of very little blogging. And it, it goes all the way back to a year. So SiteMeter is very interesting. Um, it shows you what people have clicked out on. You put links on your blog, it shows you what people follow. Somebody went to my screencast channel. Somebody posted a comment. So in the next tutorial, I will walk you through setting up a SiteMeter account and embedding that in your WordPress blog. Stay tuned. We're getting closer to connecting through our blogs.